22-year-old Sienna Collins was surely one of Dr. Now's most challenging patients and seemed unwilling to really change her life. She started out at 659 pounds but apparently kept losing her diet plan and instead of calling Dr. Now to ask for a new one, she decided to wing it, saying that she hoped to lose as much weight as she was supposed to with the help of her cousin and caretaker. Unsurprisingly, this didn't really work out and by the time she finally made it back to the clinic, she had only lost one pound. Unlike most people on the show, Sienna didn't even bother to make up excuses and outright stated that she hadn't put any effort into it. After going home with a new goal, Sienna struggled even more as her life turned upside down when her mom and cousin moved. When she finally managed to make the move to Houston, she had miraculously lost Dr. Now's diet plan once again and ended her episode weighing 2 pounds more than she had in the beginning. At this point, the bariatric surgeon told her that she should continue her psychotherapy and come back when she was serious about changing her life. 38-year-old Holly had been overweight since she could remember and had been struggling with depression since her teen years after being raped at the age of 16. At 30 years old, Holly weighed around 600 pounds and decided to get her stomach stapled to turn her life around. Although she managed to get down to 398 pounds within the next two years, she then started eating more again, busted the staples and got back to the 500s within just a year. Now nearly 40 years old, Holly weighed 658 pounds and had to to start her weight loss journey all over again. After a hard trip to Houston and moving into a new apartment, Holly and husband Ray still hadn't managed to get pots and pans about a week later, preventing them from preparing their own meals. Because of that, the couple ordered in a lot of takeout and while Holly claimed to be trying to make healthy choices when ordering food, she absurdly enough ordered egg rolls because they had veggies in them. I hadn't eaten since breakfast and Ray hadn't eaten all day. And I tried to pick something that at least had veggies in it so that I wasn't totally eating wrong. Unsurprisingly, she didn't meet her weight loss goal by the next appointment, losing just 18 pounds instead of 50 and making Dr. Now wonder if chocolate was more important to her than living. Chocolate is more important to you than living, apparently. 44-year-old Angela Gutierrez had already had one weight loss surgery in her late 20s but unfortunately gained all the weight back and continued gaining so that she weighed 608 pounds when she first went to see Dr. Now. Angela had to rely on her niece who lived with her as well as her kids to help her out with basic tasks such as cooking and going to the grocery store and seemed very motivated to lose weight following her first appointment with Dr. Now. However, despite saying that she felt embarrassed and saw herself as a monster, she appeared unwell willing to really change anything, missing all of her follow-up appointments and ignoring Dr. Now's calls. When she finally talked to Dr. Now via video chat, she told him that she was sticking to the diet and had lost the weight. But the bariatric surgeon was quick to point out that she didn't look like she had lost 120 pounds and was still on oxygen. And don't look like you have lost any weight, so you keep making excuses and not coming down here because you're not serious about it. He called her delusional when she replied that she wasn't lying, but instead of trying to prove him wrong by going to see him like she then promised, Angela eventually decided to drop out of the program entirely. According to her, she had already lost a lot of weight and could continue on her own, but even though she updates her Facebook page regularly, it is unclear if she has lost any actual weight since her episode. When we first met Anne Jeanette in season 7, she weighed a staggering 679 pounds and had to rely on girlfriend Erica to help her with pretty much everything. Despite claiming to be motivated, Anne Jeanette only lost 33 pounds instead of 140 pounds until her second appointment with Dr. Now and even though she did better the next time and got approved for surgery, she soon started gaining weight again. When the bariatric surgeon confronted her about gaining 15 pounds, his patient naively tried to blame her weight gain on fluid in her body, but Dr. Now obviously wasn't fooled. He reminded her that she had come to Houston to save her life and that the approval for surgery didn't mean she could just go back to eating 7,000 calories per day. Don't play games with me and pretend you're confused and you don't know. You got your approval and you thought now wait till surgery is going to do all the work for you and that you don't have to try anymore. He then told her that she had to undo the damage that she'd done on top of losing the 50 pounds she was supposed to in order to get reapproved for surgery and Anne Jeanette luckily got back on track by the end of her episode. 
At just 27 years old and 665 pounds, Shanae Murray was one of the heaviest people to appear on season 6 of My 600 Pound Life, but it was her argumentative nature that made her one of the most memorable patients ever. She would not only lie about her eating habits, but would also constantly argue with the doctors and ignore their advice. However, when she went as far as having her husband sneak fast food into the hospital and trying to cover it up by throwing the empty boxes into other people's trash, Doctor Now confronted them and obviously questioned whether or not Shanae was actually planning to lose weight. I'm telling you, doctor, I got water weight. You away. should have lost 130 pounds by now. Are you eating this junk and no. you keep lying to me? She didn't. Despite claiming to be sticking to the diet, Shanae gained an additional 48 pounds and never even tried to work through her issues in therapy sessions. After trying to make her understand the severity of her situation, Dr. Now couldn't get through to Shanae as she refused to take responsibility for her life and just kept saying that she was relying on God's plan for her. He put me on this earth. If he wants me to have this surgery, he will. And if he doesn't, I won't. 32-year-old Alicia had almost lost hope in her life when she appeared on TLC's My 600 Pound Life and had reached a point where she felt like eating was the only thing worth living for. When she started her weight loss journey, Alicia weighed an incredible 622 pounds and had difficulty in everyday tasks such as getting in and out of the car. One of the most memorable moments of this episode was when during one consultation with Dr. Now, Alicia and Tim were trying to convince the experienced weight loss surgeon that Alicia wasn't eating that much more than she was was supposed to. Well, he simply said that that couldn't be true, saying that they were making excuses and not only lying to him, but also to themselves. He pointed out that there was no way that Alicia's weight wouldn't have gone down if she had stuck to the diet and that she was most likely still taking in six to eight thousand calories each day. She's still at least taking in six to eight thousand calories, maybe more. So you both are playing a game here. Alicia also didn't fool Dr. Now when she claimed that she was not snacking in between meals and anyone who has ever watched the show knows that you better tell the truth in front of this doctor because he will always know if you're lying and call you out on it. You can seriously think you're not eating enough, Alicia. So you both are making excuses for this. Okay. Not every patient manages to meet the weight loss goal set by Dr. Now on their first try, but most patients at least realize that it is ultimately up to them to work on changing their lives. Angela J didn't seem to understand that however, thinking that Dr. Now wanted to punish her for missing her appointment when he told her to lose more weight than initially agreed on after she hadn't come back to see him for several months. When she had only lost 45 pounds in 5 months, Angela seemed shocked that the surgeon wasn't happy with the number and felt mistreated did when he pointed out that she was just making excuses when she hadn't even managed to lose the 50 pounds that she was supposed to shed within just one month. Instead of accepting responsibility, Angela just rudely attacked Dr. Now, saying that if she could lose that much weight on her own, she wouldn't really need him. Losing less than 10 pounds a month is not going to be enough to save your life. Okay. Well, if you expected me to lose 50 pounds every month for six months, I wouldn't need you. It seemed like she just couldn't understand that it was up to her and when she then lost only 9 more pounds in the next few weeks, making it just 54 pounds overall in 8 months, Angela was still giving the doctor attitude and making faces like a child at the one person who was trying his best to help her. Since you're down here in Houston, I'll give you one more chance. I should have never came here. <laughs> well, then why are you here? Lee and his girlfriend Reina started out weighing 700 pounds and 549 pounds respectively. And despite Reina struggling to do everyday tasks, she still had to take care of Lee because he was barely able to do anything by himself anymore. In addition to that, Reina also had to endure Lee's angry outbursts and his volatile behavior got even worse after his surgery. When the couple went back to Dr. Now for their checkup, Lee had only lost 9 pounds while Reina had managed to shed nearly 50. Unsurprisingly, Dr. Now was wasn't happy with Lee's lack of progress. What in the world is going on with you? Uh, I guess I'm eating the wrong things. <laughs> you think it's funny? But when he told Lee that he had to deal with the underlining issues that drove him to overeat, Lee got more and more frustrated. Having the doctor tell him that he was running from the problems instead of tackling them angered Lee so much that he eventually got up and left the room, cursing at Dr. Now, who got pretty upset as well. Wait, 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 down, wait, no, no, I'm... Wait, sit down. Okay. Let go of me, Renee. All right, this is completely unacceptable. 
Considering he had given Lee the tool to change his life and his patient didn't take any responsibility and was ungrateful, on top of that, the surgeon quite rightly said that Lee's behavior was completely unacceptable. Thank you for checking this video out and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again thank you for watching and see you next time.